Welcome. Uh, let us discuss about neural network. Neural network is is one of the one of the finest soft computing. We call it soft computing in our discipline, and this actually is the concept completely originated from the human brain. The understanding is that we try to for we try to form neuron inside computing in such a way that can be programmed to recognize pattern and do computing for us so let us start the biological motivation that can we simulate the human learning process that is the first thing came in my mind and it starts with the biological motivation of getting an understanding of algorithm which actually works inside human brain and it's a biological learning system complex network of neurons you know in the human brain we have about 10 to the power 17 neurons approximation but these neurons are all interconnected to each other which is having and storing continuous learning and helping us to go along with our life artificial neural network we call it they are loosely motivated by biological neural system so neural sp speed constraint you do understand that neurons have a switching time because you are actually very fast switching in order to have few mil few milliseconds compared to nanosecond for current computing hardware however neural systems can perform complex cognitive tasks in tenth of a second but which needs to be much more faster only time for per performing 100 serial steps in a time frame and it's a very massive parallelism because you are talking about all neurons are interconnected and doing the computation you can understand human brain has about 10 to the power they are saying 11 but some 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 says 10 to the 17 with an average of 10 to the power 4 connections which each you know you see how much deep interconnections so artificial neural network is a network of simple units real valued input and output many neurons like there is a threshold switching unit highly parallel distributed process emphasis on tuning weights automatically but neural network learning happens in two ways neural network the learning approach is based on modeling adaptation in biological neural system one is called perceptron and back propagation this two learning style what is perceptron initial algorithm very initial algorithm which came up in 1950s for learning simple neural network developed in 1950s single layer perceptron but back propagation more complex algorithm for learning multi-layer neural network developed in 1980s so this is a real neuron you can see there is a axon axon is the interconnection from one neuron to another there are synapses synapses are connected places there there are dendrites and cell bodies or soma how does our brain works a neuron is in connected to other neurons via inputs and output links each incoming neuron has an activation value and each connection has a weight that means you are giving input to the neurons those inputs are coming with uh, in a neuron maybe having a certain weight and thus neuron sums neurons are actually calculating the sum of sum of income income incoming weighted values and the value is input to an activation function that means a neuron can be considered as a summation function of inputs weighted inputs and then output of that summation function is applied to the activation function and the output of the activation function is the output from the neuron so it's actually a single output because it's one activation function one summation all right so you can have a neural computation like this yeah these are actually different areas time wise variations real neural learning to model the brain we need to model a neuron each neuron perform a single computation it receives signal from its input links and you uses these values to compute and these values pass to other neurons via output link so prototypical neuron you you need uh, interconnected in layers and net network architecture is fixed learning is weight adjustment and back, back propagation algorithm appropriate problem is in a stance 
instances are vector of attributes discrete or real value target function discrete real or vector maybe noisy data long trainings time it's acceptable cast evaluation and no need to be readable so this is a kind of single layer perceptron as you know single layer perceptron is a type of artificial neural network which can be seen as the simplest kind of forward neural network a linear classifier yeah drives uh, is, is just an example of how motion tracking and all things can be done using artificial neural network artificial neural model a model network a graph with a cell as node and synaptic connection as weight at the edge for example you can see here a lot of inputs coming model net input to cell is net input to cell is the weight multiplied by each of this input and the output is an activation function we use actually a square function here so perceptron happens to be a single layer model network as a graph artificial neural model perceptron that's a graph and this is a threshold value and is basically bringing and this is a cumulative sum and this is applying to the threshold function so there are different types of threshold function step function sine function sigmoid function why do you use sigmoid function there are examples you can see here that's step activation function examples so neural computings there are actually long you know very very long time back mcclaw james mcclaw and pitts they came up with a model for computing and there is a perceptron training issues perceptron training rule is a single layer network so it's skip i skip this skip so there is a delta rule which works for perceptron also so general structure of artificial neural network this is most important in one of our discussion slide what we see is an input layer of neuron and then a hidden layer and then a output layer so what happens from the input layer inputs are coming and this inputs are all weighted getting added getting added and coming into another layer called hidden layer there is a threshold and then from hidden layer all three output is going to the output function so as you know perceptron have no hidden layer multi layer perceptron may have many hidden layer so learning power of anm perceptron is generated to converge and a multi layer neural network has no guarantee of convergence because sometimes it's learning but it may not stop so these are multiple neural network example sigmoid threshold unit that's that means you are applying a sigmoid function sigmoid is a unit whose output is a nonlinear function there is a multi layer network what we have already seen this is the logistic function we apply logistic function so that the neural network model is for example is a example scenario see here what happens i'm giving input age gender and a stage and then age gender and stage these are independent variable and then i in between i have the weights but these weights are actually a random weight i assign and then i have two hidden layer and then i have another set of weight and then finally output is a sigmoid function dependent variable and it's a prediction and there is a back propagation algorithm is going to come back from for forward to reverse to adjust the weights so getting an answer of from a neural network you give an input that's the input and then another input okay then you are applying to hidden layer and generating a output so comments on the training algorithm no guarantee to converge to zero training error and there are issues like in practice does convergence convergence may not happen but can sometimes happen sometimes not many epoch means iterations may be required yeah hidden unit representation trained hidden unit can be seen but number of hidden layers is it's not predictable it's not calculatable you have to do trial and error 
Expressive power, Boolean function, continuous function, arbitrary function we can express using artificial neural network. An example of a simple exon network, you can see exclusive OR network. Universal function and also we can actually go for different applications. So these are overfitting aspects in neural network, many applications, easy stopping and cross validation. I skip this. So neural network are useful in a stance represented as attribute value pairs, target attribute function is discrete, fast learning, understandability. So let's have uh, this neural network application and see how interesting it is if we can do something in Python.